Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this beautiful holiday look right here using the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I've been meaning to use this palette uh, since I got it in November. If you guys saw from my last video, I was traveling for a few weeks. I went to Dubai and I went to India as well. So I posted my Dubai vlog in my last video. So if you guys haven't checked that out, definitely check that out. But basically for the last month I have not been able to film any kind of makeup tutorial because A I was traveling and B after I came back from my holidays I got really sick. So <laughs> this is the first time I'm sitting <laughs> down and filming a makeup tutorial for you guys today. So I hope you guys will enjoy this gold inspired holiday look. It's a very festive look and you guys can definitely wear this in any event uh, this festive season. So having said that, uh, please keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started with the eye tutorial first. It's been a long time since I filmed a makeup tutorial, so I'm already feeling a little bit rusty. Today I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. It's fitting for the holidays, so I thought I would bring this palette out to play today. I got this during the Sephora Rouge sale a month ago, which was in November, but I haven't really played with it as I was on vacation. First I'm going to pick this shade right here and put it in my crease. Again, I expect this palette to perform beautifully. I mean, I really love Natasha Denona eyeshadows anyway, so I rarely have any complaints. So I put that in the crease and also in the outer third of my eyes. I hope you guys are doing amazing throughout this holiday season. I know a lot of you will be busy, you know, uh, shopping and everything during December month. It's pretty much a crazy time of the year. The look that I'm going to do today is going to be pretty much universal look. You can use this, you know, on your Christmas day, on New Year's Eve, you know, whatever you choose. It's a glam look for any time of the year. Next, I'll use this shade over here, which is the darker shade right there. I'm going to put this through my crease. Having a little bit of a hard time with this shade, but just keep blending. I took two weeks off and I went to Dubai and I went to India to see my relatives. The India vlog will be up after uh, this tutorial so that will be the last video up on my channel for this year. Basically since I came from India uh, I have been really sick for the last week. And this week I've been feeling much better because I was off sick with a cold, fever, um, I had allergies, I had the whole bed so it was really hard for me to even film so I'm only going to film one makeup tutorial for this year and then start off my makeup content again from January okay so I kind of swatched some of the gold eyeshadows and I want to go in with these two shadows at the corner so first I'm going to pick this shade right here which is a bright bright gold This is a beautiful gold shade. Stunning. I'm going to use my fingers. Look how bright this gold is. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. I'm going to use my blending brush. Go in with the lighter brown shade and just blend again on the top and just in here. Next I'm going to use this gold shade and put that in the inner, just in the very inner corners just to give that little bit of a brightness. Bring the shade down as well. I'm going to use that gold shade and go on the brow bone.
I'm also going to use this white shade over here and use that in the brow bone. I know that this palette is pretty much all gold shades, but the shade undertones are very different. Like this gold, for example, is like a very yellow yellow gold. This is like a less brighter yellow gold. This is almost like a sparkling topper. This is a bit of a bronzy gold. So there are variations in this uh, palette. I mean, obviously no one needs this much gold eyeshadow, but I love this palette. Take the dark brown shade and just add some depth again. I'm going to go in with wing liner using my Fenty Beauty liner. I did a really bold wing today. I'm going to apply some mascara and I'm going to use my Maybelline Big Shot Colossal mascara. Take the palette again and go in with the lighter brown shade and put that in the lower lash line. Take the dark brown shade and put that in the lower lash line but close to the roots of the lashes. Alright, so I'll add on my false lashes off camera and I'll be right back and then we'll get to starting the face makeup. Okay, so let's get started with the face makeup. Now, because I have been uh, pretty sick over the last few days, my skin has been looking very dull <laughs> and lackluster. So I'm going to use my Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just going to apply that just everywhere. Now, I'm going to add another foundation on top of this. But this is just going to give me some added glow to my skin. Because my skin has been looking really dull lately with all of the fever that I had from jet lag, from traveling. I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. It's just what's near me. You can use any foundation you like. This is a good medium coverage foundation. Hopefully it matches me still. Because when I went to India, I think I got a little bit of a tan. But I'm not sure if it has worn off. I love hoop earrings. So I got these from Forever 21 if you guys were interested. I'm adding another layer. I never usually add the second layer unless I need to. And I need it this time. For concealer today, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Now this concealer, I didn't like it in the summertime. But in the wintertime, it's good because it's a little bit of a dewy coverage. So I need a little bit of hydration in my skin. It's a really good concealer for those of you who have dry skin. Currently my skin is dry because it's winter here in Canada. So my skin's definitely dry. Before I go in and powder, I wanted to contour my face as well. I wanted to go all out since this is the holiday look. So I'm going to use my Milani contour stick. Just slightly contour. This is especially good if you have been eating a lot out in the holidays. And uh, if you wanted to hide that the double chin, it's definitely good to contour. 
It's been weeks since I've done a proper full coverage makeup. During travel, I usually just do light makeup. I don't really, you know, do too much when I'm traveling. Okay, so I'm going to use my Milk Makeup Blur and Set Loose Powder for setting my makeup. For my blush and bronzer today, I'm going to be using this new MAC palette. It is called the MAC Shiny Pretty Things Face Compact. This is the compact for medium and deep. There is another one for light to medium. So first going in with the bronzer shade. I picked this up again like last month, but I have not played with it. My brush is shedding. Just bring some down the neck a little bit. I'm going to be using this shade right here for my blush. It's a coral blush. Let's see if it does anything. Okay, I'm going to try the highlighter and if I don't like it, I'm going to use my Natasha Denona highlighter. I'm going to try this gold one. The gold highlighter is pretty, pretty subtle. I had a feeling it would be. So I'm going to switch from this palette to my Natasha Denona blush palette. These highlighters in here are amazing. I'm going to use this diamond highlighter. It's a sparkly highlighter, but it's going to match my eyes a little bit. It's really beautiful. Like, oh my goodness. It's perfect for the holidays. I'm going to go in with a little bit of this highlighter as well. Just layer highlighters, guys. Go in as much as you want. My skin is looking pretty amazing. Uh, going to finish off with lips. I'm going to be using my MAC Mahogany Lip Liner. This has been my favorite lip liner for this whole year. I'm going to be using this mini Too Faced liquid lipstick in the shade Hot Butter Drum. I'm just going to apply this in the center. Then I'm going to be taking the Shegla ColourPop lip gloss. This is a shiny lip gloss. I think it's almost clear, so I'm just going to apply this in the center. To make my lips look a little bit fuller, I wanted to apply this lip gloss. It is a very pretty lip gloss and it doesn't really change the color of my lipstick. So I highly recommend you guys to check this one out. Alright guys, that's it. That completes today's holiday makeup tutorial using the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Again, this is a look that you can use for any event. Uh, but especially with Christmas and the New Year's coming up, I thought I would film this tutorial for you guys today. I absolutely love uh, gold eyeshadows. Who doesn't? And during the festive season, uh, I think that gold eyeshadows will go with any look. So happy I finally got to film a makeup tutorial for you guys before the year end. I hope you guys are enjoying this holiday season and wherever you are, I hope you guys will stay safe. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like button, share, subscribe to my channel so that you can come back here for more good content. I wish you guys a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So have a great day or night wherever you guys are and I hope to see you guys in the new year. Bye!